Today, we will talk about how to survive a nuclear attack. Let's have a look at the details. What would you do to survive if a nuclear war broke out tomorrow? You're not alone if you're worried as you scroll through your feed or watch the news. Experts say the risk of all-out nuclear war is unlikely, but knowing what to expect can give you peace of mind and keep you safe. Here are the facts. No one knows exactly what would happen in the case of a large-scale nuclear war. However, you can still take steps to prepare for nuclear attacks on a smaller scale. The first step is preparing in advance. Make a plan. If a nuclear attack does happen, it won't be safe to venture outside for food you should stay sheltered for at least 48 hours preferably longer. Stock up on non-perishable food. Non-perishables can last several years, whether it's in storage or in sustaining you after an attack. Store water. Consider keeping a water supply in food-grade plastic containers. Aim to have one gallon per person per day. Get communication supplies. You might need a radio, a whistle, your cell phone. Stock up on medical supplies. Having a few medical items available could be the difference between life and death. If you're injured in the attack, you'll need a basic first aid kit, a first aid instruction booklet, and prescription medications or supplies. Keep an eye on the news. A nuclear attack will unlikely come out of the blue from an enemy nation. Such an attack would likely be preceded by a deteriorating political situation. A war with conventional weapons between nations that both have nuclear weapons, if not ended swiftly, may escalate toward nuclear war. Assess your risk and consider evacuation if a nuclear exchange is looking likely. Learn about the different types of nuclear weapons. Fission A-bombs are the most basic nuclear weapons and are incorporated into the other weapon classes. Fission bombs are the only type of nuclear bomb used in war so far. This is the most likely type of bomb to be used by terrorists. Fusion H-bombs, using the incredible heat of a fission bomb spark plug, compress and heat deuterium and tritium which fuse releasing immense amounts of energy. Such weapons are usually many hundreds of times more powerful than the bombs that destroyed Nagasaki and Hiroshima. The bulk of the US and Russian strategic arsenal are these types of bombs. The second step is surviving an imminent attack. Seek shelter immediately. Aside from the geopolitical warning signs, your first warnings of an imminent nuclear attack will most likely be an alarm or warning signal. If not, it will be the blast itself. The bright light from the detonation of a nuclear weapon can be seen tens of miles away from ground zero. Remember that radiation exposure could cause large numbers of deaths. Once you have survived the blast and the initial radiation, you must find protection against fallout. Know the three different types. Alpha particles. Alpha particles are stopped by the outer layer of your skin or a few centimeters of air. They present a minimal threat outside your body. Beta particles. They are more penetrating than alpha particles and may cause beta burn. Burns, if materials are in direct contact with the skin for prolonged periods of time. Gamma rays. Gamma rays are the most penetrating of the three main types of radiation. Tamma radiation will cause severe damage to the body even when outside the body. Plan on staying in your shelter for a minimum of 48 hours, two days. Under no circumstances leave the shelter in the first 48 hours. Ration your supplies. You will need to ration to survive, obviously. Therefore, you will eventually expose yourself to the radiation. Unless you are in a specific shelter with food and water, wear all clothing, hats, gloves, goggles, closed sleeve shirt, etc., especially when outside, to help prevent beta burns. Treat radiation and thermal burns. Feel free to assist people with radiation sickness, also called radiation syndrome. Unfortunately, you have to accept that a person may soon die. Though harsh, don't waste rations or supplies on those dying of radiation sickness. Guard critical electrical equipment against AMP. At the very least, unplug all devices from electrical sockets and antennas. Be prepared for subsequent attacks. Most likely, a nuclear attack will not be a singular event. Be prepared for another strike or strikes by enemy nations or an invasion by the attacking party. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.